Okay, today I've got a reusable oil filter. Uh, this one is a hub. Uh, the previous video I did was on a pure power. Um, the hub is one that we're going to go with due to cost. Pure, pure power, if you remember, was about 261 uh, and that was shipped. Uh, this hub uh, we picked up for $86 and that's a fleet rate. Um, highly recommend talking to Rob Cummins at uh, Hub. Um, just make sure you ask for Rob. He's really good. He's uh, extremely knowledgeable on the product and, and has really helped us out. So this one here we have this is for our police interceptor. We're going to be putting this on all our explorers. So you can see here, let me make sure you can see it here. It's a really nice aluminum housing. Really good quality. You can notice these notches here. They've recently come out with a, a tool that they sent us uh, that fits over the top and you can see on the inside, let me get in there a little closer, it's got the little matching ribs. So for removing this uh, off the engine, you'd be able to, uh, to do it easier. Before that, they recommend using a strap wrench and sometimes a strap wrench isn't always the easiest depending on where the filter is located. Okay, so we're just gonna look at uh, couple things on this filter so another thing that's worth mentioning is uh, they send you this tool it's kind of a multi-use tool um, for you can see these two slots here this is for helping you remove it so again we'll just look at the housing real quick and then the uh, the element itself now the way we're doing this is a fleet and again, we're testing this out on our police interceptors. We're simply just going to unscrew the element, take a new element, thread it on. Uh, the old element will take this apart and then we'll put it in the cleaner, which I'll show later, um, and clean it, get it, let it dry, uh, and then put it on kind of like a ready shelf so that the next person using it will be able to do it. These filters are all standard three inch. So really the only thing that changes is the mounting base here for the, the correct vehicle application. So there's no difference here on the, these elements for, for this three inch size. Okay, next to take apart the filter, this is the secondary filter. So there's a primary and a secondary. And then again, using the tool here, this is the little bypass valve. I think they call it like a differentiating, I don't know. They call it something else, but anyway. I just call it a bypass valve. And they recommend not taking this side out. This side will also unthread and there's another little differential valve or whatever they call it. Okay, so we just put that spring back on. And the thing that's really impressed me about both the Pure Power and this uh, hub filter is just the quality, the engineering that's gone into them. They're uh, really, really nicely made, and uh, we're looking forward to it. So, um, give you a couple of numbers. I got my my fact sheet here. Um, so, for our police interceptors, we're currently doing a 4,000 mile oil change interval or RPM times. That's when they come in, um, and that's due to high uh, idle times. Um, we're currently using a re-refined synthetic uh, oil or synthetic blend, excuse me, oil. Um, and this supports the 4,000. Before we were on a 3,000 mile interval, now we're at a four. Currently using Wix filters, and then we're going to these. Um, so our, our typical uh, life cycle on a police interceptor is six years uh, or 125,000 miles, whichever comes first. Um, if it's in good shape, we'll try to stretch it out at the six year point and, and you know get some more mileage on there. But uh, generally speaking, at six years, they're gonna be over 100,000. So with that, if you're looking at just 100,000 miles, you'd be looking at 25 oil changes and at a $5 filter, and that's pretty conservative or low, low estimate, um, that'd be $125 you'd spend on oil filters. So again, this hub is uh, $86. So then the element, going back to the element real quick, it's threaded here and here. So it, it can go on, you know, the, excuse me, the secondary can go in on either side. So I'll put that on here. We double check the O-ring. Make sure we're good, sorry about that. Yeah. And the O-rings, um, I can't remember what he what he called them, the, the specific material they're made out of, but they're they're designed to be able to 
um, last, you know, for 60 years or whatever. And, you know, we'll see how that goes. But um, I'm used to, uh, you know, changing oil, oil filter O-rings, you know, any, any time. Let me see if I can figure out how to, let's see, does this, oh, okay, that tightens this. Kind of a neat little, little tool. I don't have a part number on this, but this actually came with the filter, so there was no additional charge on it. And by the way, this, uh, this also came with the filter free of charge. I think uh, these are kind of experimental. They, they haven't yet uh, put them out on the market, so they, there will be a cost associated with this tool, but I would recommend it just because I hate strap wrenches. Okay, so now um, there's another seal here, and again, they recommend uh, lubricating that. It already has some kind of oil film on it. Uh, this has never been used. Um, and then again, this part of the tool here just fits in these slots. And that's it. And then they recommend installing it like you would any other filter. Um, once your filter come or your filter or the seal comes in contact, they recommend a quarter turn. So anyway, here is the hub filter. Here is the uh, I guess you'd call this the uh, the strap or excuse me, not the the strap, the cap wrench. That's what I would call it. And then the kind of the multi tool. Anyway, on the next part of this video, we're going to be installing this on the police interceptor just to show you know, what kind of footprint it leaves. Oh, one quick note I did want to say before we go out to the install is uh, at 125,000 miles at 4,000 mile intervals, we'd be looking at just over 31 uh, oil changes and that would be a cost of 156. So when you look at it like that and you know you're going to get the longevity, it makes sense to, to use the reusable, not only to reduce the waste, but you know, also the cost. And again, they sent out some extra elements. I think you can get the elements for about $56 or so. And that'll allow you to just remove and replace them. And you don't need the same number of um, replacement elements as you do filters. That's, you know, you just need enough to handle the volume of, uh, what do you call it, of, um, you know, your PMs that you do. All right, this is one of our uh, police interceptors, one of the explorers that we, uh, we have, the utilities. And I've got Matt here. He's in the process of draining oil, as you can see. And it looks like he's coming apart with the filter. And uh, okay, this is a motorcraft that we're using on this particular uh, one, and we'll be replacing it with the hub. Okay, there's the uh, there's where the oil filter went, and Matt has the hub, and he's going to be installing that. He's just putting a little bit of oil on the, the O-ring. It doesn't take any larger footprint in order to install it and the recommendation from hub is just to uh, like a normal oil filter you, you know run it down and then give it a quarter inch or a quarter turn sorry as I quarter mentioned turn. before what we're planning on doing is uh, just uh, pulling a, a hub filter down you know pulling the, the cap off and replacing the element uh, and then the old element will will take that apart both both elements and then we'll put it in the ultrasonic cleaner this is ultrasonic cleaner that they have um, you know I installed one of these on my personal car and I just I just bought an ultrasonic cleaner off of eBay for like $65 and it's uh, it allows me to set the temperature like this one and also has the same frequency uh, this one is about $300 this is their new design um, and we tested it out we just put um, little bit of water and in this case we just use simple green we didn't test it out on a filter test it out on just some parts laying around we had a rear end that exploded and put some of the parts in there and it, it really did a nice job of cleaning it up so the ultrasonic cleaner if you haven't used it it's uh it's fantastic um anyway we do have the correct solution and i'll show you that in a minute but this is the the new cleaner that they they have out um, it brings it up to 150 degrees temperature, and then when you turn it on, um, it'll run for a period of 10 minutes once it gets up to that temperature. All right, here is the uh, ultrasonic cleaning solution that Hub produces. Can't remember what this costs. I think it's like 35 or 40 dollars, and 
I believe uh, using the single cleaner like we have, this will do, I think he told me 14 or 15 filters. Um, you know, again, this is a, a new thing, a trial that we're doing, so we're just starting out here. Um, on the back, it actually has a little chart, so it tells you if you're using, you know, a three inch filter, and you know you're you're uh, putting it in the single cleaner you're going to use like eight ounces or excuse me five ounces of the solution and then fill it up with water um, and like i said the i haven't tried out this particular solution but just using the simple green with the water which you know hub doesn't stand behind that but i can tell you it, it worked amazing on some other parts so anyway that's our uh, hub filter uh and we are uh, this was the first one that we're putting into service so we'll let you know how it, how it does.